Hey there, super friends, Jonathan Levy here. And at the time of this recording, a lot of people are spending way more time at home and doing a whole lot more reading. So in this video, I wanna share with you some of my top life-changing books of all time. Stick around. Hey there, super friends, Jonathan Levy here. You know, since I teach speed reading and have taught speed reading online for seven to eight years now, a lot of people often ask me of all the many, many books that I read every single year and in my lifetime, which are the ones that have most impacted me and changed my life. So I wanted to give you guys a abridged list. I'm not gonna give you the entire list. I'll actually put a link below to an entire list of all the books that have changed my life below. But uh, number one, I don't think any of you wanna stick around and hear me describe every single book that has ever changed my life because there are many of them. And additionally, I don't keep paper copies of uh, the books here to actually show you for all of them, but some of them I've actually picked up paper copies so I can talk about them on this video and share them with all of you. So first things first, I wanna start with this book, Dale Carnegie's How to Win Friends and Influence People. This is a book that originally came out, I believe in the 1920s or 1930s, and uh, to me was the first personal development and self-help book that I was ever given. It was given to me by my uncle Ernie, and he handed it to me and said, this book will help you solve every problem you ever encounter. And you know what? 25 almost years later since reading it, uh, that has been largely true. But more important than that, this book was the book that taught me that just by reading some words on a page, that I could actually become a better person, that I could actually improve, that I could actually grow, and that learning was the path to becoming the kind of person that I wanted to become. All right, number two is uh, maybe a little bit less of an all life transformational book, but it is one that has really made the difference in my life and it is Robert Kiyosaki's Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Now, if you're not familiar with this book, it basically teaches you the secrets to how the wealthy uh, succeed and how they create lives of freedom and wealth and how everyone else gets stuck on the rat race. Now, I was given this book at a period in my life when I was working harder than ever and not really making the amount of money that I felt I should be working. It was given to me by my dear, dear friend, Levingman, and he said, you gotta read this book. This book is gonna change the way that you approach money. And I have to say that also, it's been almost 15 years since he gave me this book and, uh, and it really did. And this book has created so much wealth and freedom and ease for myself and my family because of the simple principles that Robert Kiyosaki shares in this book. I promise you, if you read this book, you will never think about work or money in the same way again. And that is a good thing. On to the next book. I don't think I'm gonna surprise anyone when I say that it is Timothy Ferris's The 4-Hour Workweek. You guys, this book blew my mind the first time I read it. Again, it was not long after reading this one and I was in a period in my life where I was working so hard and had so little freedom despite the fact that I owned my own business. I really identified with Tim Ferriss and uh, this took me on a journey of completely redesigning my life, and redesigning the way that I wanted my life to look. And to this day, you can see, I, uh, I recently just bought a fresh copy and have been re-highlighting it and re-going through it. Some of the recommendations are uh, pretty out of date. I don't think many people use Skype anymore and I don't think many people do a lot of print advertising anymore, but this book is the key to uh, opening your mind, even today, to different ways of living your life and getting off the beaten path so that you can create the kind of life that you want. This book is so important. We keep it in our household in multiple languages, so every member of the family uh, is required to read it effectively. This is an incredible book. It has aged very, very well, given that it was written, I think, 13 years ago at the time of this recording and it is still one of the best-selling books uh, in the space of all time. If you haven't read this book, you gotta read it. You gotta read it. On to the next one. I'm gonna take it a little bit more spiritual. The last ones have been a lot uh, about money and business, uh, and this is A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle. This is another book that completely blew my mind the first time I read it. Uh, it, it changed the way that I looked at life. It changed the way that I looked at my mind. It changed the way that I looked at uh, myself. This book uh, really hurt to read the first time because I realized that a lot of the crap that I was carrying around and a lot of the pain that I was carrying around 
uh, was me and that I was choosing subconsciously or unconsciously to live in that way. This book uh, set me free in the way that the other books set me free financially. This book set me free mentally and emotionally uh, and opened me up to a world of spirituality. And it, it's funny, uh, it was a chance encounter that I met someone at a social event that I'd never talked to before or since. And they said, you need to read this book. You strike me as someone who is intellectually overdeveloped and spiritually underdeveloped. He told me to read this book and uh, my life and myself Neither of them were ever the same after reading this. Now, I wanna warn you, if you're not ready to read this book, you will have a visceral reaction and you will reject it. I've given probably 20 copies of this book away and at least half the people that I've given it to have rejected it and have essentially uh, been unable to read it because they're not ready to admit to themselves or they're not ready to hear uh, maybe about themselves uh, what this book has to say. So if you have a visceral reaction, put it down and come back to it in a few years. Uh, but for those of you who are ready and are ready to uh, grow 10 years worth in uh, 400 or so pages, this is the book for you. Uh, this is another one of those books that uh, to me is, um, it's legendary. This, this is one of my Bibles, if you will. Speaking of books that I give away a lot of copies of, I've probably given away 30 copies of this guy. This is Calling in the One. I know it's uh, mostly read by females, but uh, that didn't bother me at all. This book changed my life potentially more than any of the others because this is the book that helped me after nine years of being single. This book helped me find my wife and get into a loving, happy, healthy relationship. Uh, I didn't even finish the book and I met my wife. I did eventually finish the book, of course, but uh, I have given away many, many, many copies of this book. Uh, less than half the people actually open the book. It's another one of those books that um, if you're not ready, if you're not ready to face some honest, hard truths about yourself and about your history and about your past and about your psychology, it's gonna be a hard read. Uh, of the people who have finished this book, the majority of them, at least that I've given to, have found their special person, their one. Uh, and I have been to more than one wedding of someone who I gave this book to. And as a result, they found their person. Uh, recently at the Genius Network annual event in 2019, someone actually stood up with a microphone and thanked me publicly in front of 400 people for giving them this book because uh, she met her one. So a uh, really powerful book. If you are single, read this book. Uh, it's not gonna be easy. It's a lot of work and it's a lot of uh, digging deep, but I mean, the results don't lie, and I feel completely blessed that uh, someone recommended this book to me. It was actually Sonny Lenarduzzi and Lee Rottenberg both recommended this book to me, and uh, after both of them did, I finally listened, and I'm very glad I did. Uh, here's another book that's a little bit shorter and has more recently changed my life, but I, I felt uh, I have to share something from Dan Sullivan's work, and it is Who, Not How. Now, Dan writes a lot of really short books. I think he publishes a book just about every single month, and uh, this is a really, really good one. It talks a lot about how you want to solve problems in a collaborative way and not by trying to figure it out yourself. That really resonated deep with me because I'm the learning guy and I pride myself on being able to learn anything if I want to, but I've realized partly through this book that just because I can learn anything doesn't mean that I necessarily should learn everything. And a lot of times the solution is who, not how. Um, I'll share some other books. Uh, this book, I'll be honest, and I told Ben this when I read it, I didn't love the way it was written. I found that, and Ben would, I think, agree with me on this, that the, the writing could have been tightened up and could have been improved and there could have been more citations. And yet, I refer to this book almost every single day. I quote Benjamin almost every single day. He's a dear friend of mine, but that's not why. And it's because of the ideas that I originally learned in this book, Willpower Doesn't Work. Uh, it talks about the hidden keys to success and environmental design and how if you rely on willpower, you are setting yourself up for failure. This book has changed my day-to-day -day interaction with habits and uh, the way that I do things and the way that I structure my environment and my life and my home, uh, probably more than any book that I've read in the last five years. Really great book, shout out to Ben. Um, definitely worth a read. Another more recent one, I've, I've only recently just finished this, but this has been helping me so much, is Marcus Aurelius, 
Meditations. I know so many people talk about this book. Ryan Holiday loves talking about this book. Tim Ferriss loves talking about this book. So I decided to finally check it out. And I have to say it came just at the right time. I am an expectant father, so there's a lot of stress and anxiety, especially with the coronavirus and all that stuff. And this book has really been serving me and has made me so much more of a chilled, relaxed, accepting person. Uh, it's kind of a downer, this book and it, it kind of has very fatalistic, like, oh, you're just gonna die, so what does anything matter? But if you can learn to look at that in a positive and, um, positive and uplifting way, and you can learn to look at that in kind of a uh, frivolous, nothing matters, it's okay way, as opposed to nothing matters way, this book will really serve you, and, and I think that's why so many uh, thought leaders and politicians and CEOs and, and other people who live in high stress environments swear by this book. Now, if you are wondering to yourself, how do I read all these books and many, many, many more? The answer is speed reading and accelerated learning techniques. And I do want to invite you, if you wish that you had more time to read, you wish that you could benefit from absorbing all these different books and learning and growing in the way that I've been privileged to do, I do want to invite you to pick up a copy of this book for free. It is the only skill that matters. It is my book and it teaches you the proven methodology to read faster, remember more, and become a super learner. At the time of this recording, I have about two thousand of these in a warehouse and uh, since I'm not doing any public speaking right now with the whole coronavirus that I have decided to give them away all I need you to do is pay the nine dollars and 95 shipping and handling and I will send you a copy a real physical copy because we all spend so much time in front of screens who wants to spend more I will send you a copy of this it will end up in your mail and you can discover how to read faster how to remember more and how to absorb knowledge from all these different books in a fraction of the time. So I invite you to do that. Whether or not you do that, I wanna thank you for watching this video. I really enjoyed sharing some of the books that have most impacted my life. Remind you to hit that like button, subscribe, follow, depending on what platform you're watching this. And uh, let me know in the comments, I would love to hear what are some of the books that have most impacted your life? Because if I haven't read them, chances are I'd really like to.